Hello, this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is our project for today. Um, beautiful card made with this um, stamp set and dies to go with it. So much happy. Really, really lovely set. So some really lovely greetings here. Happy birthday. Happy to know you. Happy to celebrate you. Happy to have you in my life. Happy graduation. Or you can have so very happy to have you in my life. So very happy to know you. Um, so um, lots of greetings there that'd be very useful. Then these lovely balloons with the string and the bow and then some stars. Really, really lovely. And then the dies that come with it. You get this lovely big happy, which is the one I've used here on my card. You get some bunting. You've got these two edge strips. This one's got stitching, so you can st make a stitched edge on any one. Uh, then this lovely sort of cloud border, which is great. And then some dies that cut out the balloons and the star from the stamp set. And some um, little stars and a string for the balloons, if you want to die cut it rather than stamp it as well. It's a really lovely, lovely um, bundle. Um, and you can get it free, um, or you could until the end of June. I'm not sure when this is going out. Maybe don't remember I said that, because this might not be going out until past the end of June, in which case you will have missed it. Sorry. Um, anyway, um, let's get on with making our card today. So I made this one. I particularly wanted a mail card, because it's my brother's birthday not too long away, and I wanted to make him a birthday card. So I thought this was a really nice mail birthday card. Um, and then I thought I needed some cards for a team swap. We we generally, when there's a new catalogue, we do a team swap so that we all make a group of similar cards, same cards, and then send them off to people in our group and get lots of samples back. Um, and so I am in a group of five of us, so I needed to make four cards to send out. So these were my four cards using the, the in colours. The new in colours, soft, just jade, bumblebee, cinnamon cider, misty moonlight, and I haven't done the magenta madness one yet, and that's what I'm going to do today. Um, and I've put so very happy to know you because these are going to team members, and I am so very happy to know all our team members. Um, so we're going to make, but we're going to make a birthday card from the uh, magenta madness today. It is very very in your face this colour, but it is a lovely pink, and I think I'm going to grow to love it. So what we need to do is to measure first of all. So this um, piece of cardstock measures 10.5 by 15 centimetres or four and an eighth by six inches, I think. Yep, six inches. And we're gonna measure down one and three quarter inches, I think. Just let me check. Yes, I think that's one and three quarter inches. I'm sure I haven't got the measurements here. I don't know what I've done with them, but we'll try. We'll give it a go at one and three quarter. Just trying to think whether it was one and a half. It, I made all these last night and I've actually forgotten. Let me see. I put that there. That looks about right to me. Maybe I remembered right. I thought I was very prepared for this video. There we go. So that's going to, I think that went there. Yeah, no, that's right. That's fine. That's where it is. Yep, that's perfect. One and three quarter inches or in centimetres. Da, 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 four and a half, four and a half centimetres. So you need to place this. You need to make sure it's centred in your panel. So make sure you've got the same gap either side. And you need to line it up to there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some washi tape just to hold it in place. Because I know the magnetic um, platform sometimes for me moves things rather than holds them in place there. So I'm going to just, and I'm going to zip that through my Big Shot. I'm bringing in my Big Shot. Really is on its last legs now. I can't wait for the new Stampin' Up, Stampin' and Boss, Cut and Emboss machine comes out. I will be first in the queue to buy a new one. This really has seen better days, my um, Big Shot. It doesn't owe me any favours. It's done really well. But I think it's time I put it out to pasture. Right, so let's get rid of all those bits. Can you see how lovely, how well this um, cuts, how that, uh, this die cuts? Um, all the pieces just fall out. It's really lovely. Right, and just take a bit of care. If you're using washi tape, just take a little bit of care 
when you remove it because it can sometimes once it's been through the big shot have a little bit of it might stick to the um cardstock and you don't want to ruin your cardstock so there we go there we go that's it and poke out the middle of the a there right isn't that lovely such a great die that i love it right we're just going to rub out our pencil marks because we don't want them in and then what we're going to do is we're going to take another one of the dies we're going to take the stitched edge die and i have to say this was inspired by mary fish who's a very very successful demo over in the states it's not a copy of her card but it is i did get inspiration from her um so you might want to look her up see what she did with this die um, but I've got lots of other ideas um, in line for it so watch this space and I love the balloons I do love a balloon and I love stars as well so this die set was really right up my street so I'm going to run this through again so that I get a stitched edge at the top of my die top of the die cut top of the happy just adds a little something extra to your card. Oh, it's very squeaky, this like this um, big shot. I'm just gonna put that over there. Um, so again, peel off the washi tape very carefully. Can you see that? And then I'm gonna place it again on the other side. So I'm lining it up. Can you see, I'm lining it up with the bottom of the happy. Hoping you can see that. Let me just check that I am in camera. Yes, you can see that. Apart from the handle of the big shot being in the way. That's why I don't generally die cut on camera, but there was such a lot of die cutting to do today. I wanted to show you how to do it and how to um, make sure things are placed properly and in the right, stay in the right place. There we go. Right. Just peel it off and again, careful with the washi tape. Don't take any of the cardstock with you. Right, isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous, gorgeous colour. Right, let's put my big shot away for a second. Oops, taken my um my logo with me. Let's put that back up there. Right, okay, so what I'm now gonna come in is with a white card base, normal size, so it's eight and a half by fifteen, so it was uh, sorry, not eight and a half, a ten and a half by 15. So it was 21 by 15. And I'm going to glue my panel onto there like that. And it is going to be slightly too big. I deliberately cut it a little bit too big because I wanted to make sure it was flush with the sides of my card blank. So I will trim that off after I've placed it. So just very thin amount of Tombow. like so and that is going to go so I'm going to butt it up to the top corner here and like I say it's going to overhang a little bit so I might just budge it over so it is still central there we go oops not quite straight Tombow should give you a little bit of wiggle room to move it around a little bit. Oh, it's not straight up there either. Right, but that is the joy of the liquid glue that you can move it a little bit. Right, that should be okay. Right, I'm not going to trim at the moment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take two pieces of DSP, sign a series paper. And there's one of them. Again, this is matching with the magenta. Madness, that's not the piece. Here it is. This piece. There. It's a nice floor, nice pink birthday card for a female, this one. Okay, and that's going to glue there, and that's going to glue there. Okay. Um, I'm going to trim just a sliver off there because it's quite close to my stitched stitched line, and I don't want it to be too close. So just trim a sliver off there. There we go, that's better. Although the cloudy bit is going to go over there anyway. Right, so we need some Tombow on these. So these panels are 11 by 4.5 for the top and 11 by 6.5 for the bottom. Like you saw, I just did cut a sliver off the bottom one. Um, but they are both going to be covered partly by the cloud um, die cut in a minute. 
so that goes there and this one goes here I would have used um, the the family stacks of DSP to do this funny story Jez and I some of you will know that I'm big friends with Jez and we tend to do a lot of sharing of things so one of us will buy something and we'll share it with the other and we pay half each um, and we decided to buy all the family packs of DSP that are in the catalogue on page 150 so there were six packs all together so we were going to buy three each and share them so that we had some of each colour some of every colour um, when I sent her her pack well, before, but when we were allowed to do pre-order, we were allowed to um, pre-order this year's um, in colours. So she ordered them and sent half of them to me. When I sent the pack back with the things that I'd bought, I sent back the papers that she'd already sent to me. So I've ended up with no in colour papers so far for this year. So Jez has got them. It's totally, totally my fault, not her fault at all. So I'm, wa I'm just waiting until we share something else until I can get them back. Right, okay, so we need a cloud shape for the top here. So we're going to take the cloud um, border die. And we want that to go sort of there. So we're going to put that on there. And again, I'm going to come back with my washi tape. And just use the same bit of washi tape. A reel of washi tape lasts me forever. Sadly, there isn't any washi tape in the catalogue at the minute. If you'd like some and you've ordered from me, just mention it and I'll put a sticker um, reel in your thank you package um, when I send it because I've got loads. I might just move that down slightly. I think it needs to be slightly thinner than that. I'm just going to move it down a smidge like so. And then that's going to go through the big shot again. I don't know if you're aware, we've got two big shot, two um, die cutting machines coming. A big one, like the big shot, although it's a lot more compact than the big shot, but it will take the same size dies as the big shot. And then we've got a little mini machine. And those of you who know how much I love my little mini um, cutter will know how much, can imagine how much I'm looking forward to getting the little mini cutter because I can have that sat on my desk as well, which will be a real help. So this is going here be glued like that. So just a little bit of Tombow again. There we go. Like so. Glue that to the border of the DSP. And then on the second one that we're doing, we need um, to stamp before we before we die cut. You could do it afterwards, but just in case it does not straight or whatever, I would stamp before um, you die cut. So I'm going to use Magenta Madness ink. Haven't used this one yet. It is very, very vivid pink. I've got a feeling this is the one that's going to stain. My fingernails are filthy. I've been doing a little bit of gardening today. Fingernails are absolutely filthy. Need a good scrub, need a shower and a good scrub of my fingernails. Um, there we go. Right, so that's going to go there. The birthday is going to fit in this loopy bit here. Sorry if you're getting the top of my head. There we go. There. And that's going to go down there like that. So, let's put this away before it stains anything. Right, last die cut to do. Washi tape's all got muddled up. Do that again. There we go. And there. And bring my big shot one more time. So this is much more a die cutting card than a um, stamping one. Some of you might know, um, or might not know, um, that before I joined Stampin' Up, I had hardly done any stamping at all. I made cards, but I mostly made them, well, I do a lot of quilled cards, of course, some of you know that as well, um, but um, I made most mostly cards with just die cuts. I used to die cut an awful lot, um, and so stamping sort of opened a whole new window of opportunity for me. There we go. So that's going to glue there, and then we're done. Like I said, you do need your sunglasses on for this one a bit. 
I'm really sorry if I've gone off camera a lot today. It's because I haven't got my grid paper, which is usually my guide to where I can, where I'm on camera. Um, but I, because I was die cutting, it tends to move the, just moves the, the grid paper around. So I took the grid paper off my desk today because I knew I was going to be doing a lot of die cutting. Right, there we are, all put together. And all we've got to do now, that's not quite straight, but I think that's too late now, um, is to go back and trim. So all these bits, oh, I've got black ink on the inside of my card there. So just use this, the edge of the card to trim really close and then you get a really lovely edge with no white bits showing and no overhang. And this is one of the things that will make your cars look much more professional. That's not worked very well. I'm gonna come in the other way in a sec, I think. There we go. There we go. Nice. Right, what else do we need to trim this side? Good job that black ink. I don't know where that's come from. Good job that's on the inside. I can live with it being on the inside. Um, there we go. And it's on the wrong side, so you wouldn't notice it when you open it. It's just down the corner there. Right, there we go. So last thing, I just added a few enamel dots. And we've got enamel dots in all the um, in colour colours. Um, so now I need to decide what colour I'm going to use. Am I going to use yellow? Quite like the yellow or blue. Blue kind of tones in with the blue of the, in the centre of the poppies. It looks black, but actually it's that blue. So that I might use that blue. So, although actually I haven't used any greens and the green is the colour of the leaves. We'll use the green. We'll tie in the green, I think. Put one up there. One. Where should we put the other one? Put one there. And maybe one down here. Just three. That's enough, I think, just to link those colours together. And there we have it. So now we have one in every one of the, the new in colours. Cinnamon cider, no, so we've got Just Jade, Cinnamon Cider, Bumblebee, Misty Moonlight and M Magenta Madness. So those will all be winging their way. So this one and this one are birthday cards for my relations. Going to be winging their way very soon. And these are all for my team. So I hope you've liked that project today. Um, and I will see you very soon. If you wanted to buy that bundle, then it's available in my shop called so much happy bundle if you're interested or over on my blog everything i've used will be listed below the blog post so you can have a look so the blog post will be linked underneath the video here so thank you for watching i hope you have a lovely day hope you've got cooler temperatures than we have in the uk we're about 33 degrees today um, and i'll see you soon thanks very much bye bye